Hi, I'm Jacob West, racing manager and bloodstock agent for Robert and Luana Love. Magnum Moon comes to the final 16, and he's going to be an undefeated Arkansas Derby winner. Get ready, Kentucky, there's a bad moon on the rise! I cut my teeth at uh, TaylorMade, got my start there uh, with the Taylor brothers. Uh, worked my way up from groom all the way up to barn foreman to a divisional manager and then eventually ended up in the office as a buyer account manager and incredible teachers there. Made a transition over to Three Chimneys where I was the director of bloodstock uh, for the Tori Alba family in Three Chimneys um, and was there for a little while, about a year and a half and then launched my own bloodstock agency shortly after that. I met the Lowe's uh, when I was during my time at TaylorMade. Um, they were a big client of TaylorMade's uh, on the sales side of things, um, but we knew that they had a passion for racing and, and I had approached them on uh, kind of with an idea of hopefully buying some horses that would end up, you know, kind of on the first Saturday in May. We had gone through book one, we had gotten kind of our heads kicked in a little bit in book one because it was so strong for the horses that we were, we were chasing. So we went into book two still with the open mind of trying to find the nice athletes, trying to find those horses that would show up here. And we came across Magnum Moon. Um, he was at the Claiborne consignment. Uh, he was a big, raw, immature looking horse. Um, but to me, he, he had all, all the aspects that I've ever been taught on uh, what you should look for in these, t in these types of horses. Simple stuff that everybody else you hear about, you know, size, scope, balance, you know, correctness, all that stuff. Um, but to me, he, this horse just moved. He moved well. He's got a beautiful way of going and his walk. And then obviously the walk is what translates over to the jog, jog to gallop, gallop to, you know, how they, you know, run in the races. So he, he was that type of horse. I mean, he just the way he moved and how much ground he covered for such a young horse and to have the frame that you knew he was going to grow up into and fill out into is kind of what got me excited about him. Went back and looked at him a handful of times and he was the type, one of the type of horses that the more and more that I looked at him, the more and more I fell in love with him. And I mean, I know that's easy to say now, but it's, it is, it is the truth. And it's still true to this day. I mean, every time I see this horse, I fall more in love with him. What meant the most to them was winning at Oaklawn. Um, you know, early on, Mr. Lowe had always told me if we could ever get a horse to Oaklawn, we'd really appreciate it. So kind of when Magna Moon kind of busted onto the scene, we kind of had told, uh, kind of had made a game plan with Todd. Like, you know, if we could get to Oaklawn with this horse, we, you know, the Lowe's would really appreciate it. Todd was all for it. He's had a lot of success coming out of that. Uh, out of Oakland and, and so he was all for it. Touch wood, but it's kind of all come to the right plan that we set out, you know, for this horse when he broke his maiden on January 13th. I mean, it, it, we haven't missed a beat yet. The Lowe's are just incredible people. I mean, they, if if you knew how many people they've helped throughout their lives and their, you know, in, in all aspects of, of their life, whether it's business or personal, and, and to kind of reward them with something like this, you know, uh, they, they helped me get launched, they helped me get started. They were my first clients when I kind of went out on my own and uh, the support and the confidence that they've had in me is just incredible. So, uh, you know, I can't, I can't thank them enough and, and I, hope, I hope this horse shows up for them. And this isn't the end all be all. There's gonna be a lot more, uh, you know, races after this, but they're so excited and they're good people, they're good owners and they deserve a good horse. And I mean, I've said that this horse deserve good, deserves good owners and these owners deserve a good horse, so it's a perfect match.